Welcome to this session, AOS CX 10.09, Usability Enhancements. My name is Steve Bartlett. I'm a technical marketing engineer supporting AOS CX switching. And this is in a series of four, and this is number three of four. And here is the agenda. Nine features identified as usability features for the CX 10.09 release. And we have covered one and two in those first two presentations. So do look at those if you haven't seen them yet, you can watch these out of order. This session covers the prefer statement on the NTP server and IPv6 RA guard. And number four of four covers improvements to the show output on specific AOS CX features. So the first one up is the prefer statement on NTP server for IPv4 and IPv6 protocols and it's relevant to all AOS CX switch platforms. We now have the option of using a prefer statement on the NTP server. In our configuration, you can see the, the CLI snippet on the screen, the NTP server and our server ID, and underneath the options along with burst, I burst, max pole, min pole, we do have a prefer option. So now we can select a preferred server. So note, when using multiple servers with the same stratum setting, a preferred server is highly recommended. Setting a preferred server, um, this will ensure that NTP will attempt to keep the preferred server the primary as the primary NTP connection. If a preferred server is not manually set and NTP is enabled, the configure server with the lowest stratum will automatically be set as the preferred server. So do take note of that. So preferred selection of servers with the same stratum, if not manually selected, may change on reboot. So that's why we re recommend using a preferred server when you've got the same stratum options in your NTP pool. We do support IPv4 and IPv6 addressing, which is obviously very good. Although a very simple service, there are a couple of notes and a caveat to be aware of. So V4, V6 is supported for NTP services. No manual preference is configured, as I mentioned, and also preference is applied based on the configured server with the lowest stratum. So everybody take note of that. This will automatically be set as a preferred server. So we do recommend um, setting a preferred server, especially when using multiple servers with the same stratum setting. So that's a high recommendation. And do take note of this next one. So we can use DHCP to configure up to two NTP servers. And note on the switches this affects if we use the arrays or zero eyes command. It's only on that particular command and when then we reboot and then we go to get our DHCP NTP servers. So as DHCP uses the out of bound management port to get its IP addressing, it receives, receives the DHCP NT servers detail. And at that, this point, it's set to use a default VRF. And in this instance, after using the arrays all zero eyes command, um, it cannot access the NTP server to mark it as preferred. It's only in this specific use case. So the workaround is to use a management VRF if this is available to to uh, connect to the NTP server. So after the connectivity, after this arrays all zero eyes command, then you can switch it back to the default VRF. It does not impact the 8400 and 8325 series. It only impacts the 4100i, 6100, 62, 63, 64, V1, V2 cards, and the new to be released 10,000 switch using DHCP options after the command Arrays all zero eyes has been implemented. And the next usability feature is IPv6 RA guard without the ND guard feature. And it specifically applies to the 8325 series. So IPv6 RA guard, this is specifically for the 8325 series only. And prior to 10.9, the 8325 series did not have any RA guard capability, and now it does have some. So this is an additional command for the 8325 series only, effectively supporting RA drop on untrusted ports. Now it does not have 
extended commands relating to neighbor discovery or inspection or the ability to support an ACL for an RA guard policy, for example, and some of the other extended commands that other CX platforms already have as part of that IPv6 configuration portfolio. So RA messages are used by the neighbor discovery protocol, NDP, to detect neighbors, advertise IPv6 prefixes, assist in address provision, and share link parameters, etc. So unintended misconfiguration by users or admins might lead to the presence of unwanted or rogue RA messages. This can cause operational problems for neighboring hosts. So you can configure IPv6 router advertisements guard, RA guard, to protect the network against rogue RA messages generated by unauthorized or improperly configured routers connecting to the network segment. RA guard on, for the 8325 series can be applied to filter router advertisements, either block or permit RAs based on trust or untrusted ports. And this is the feature that is provided in 10.09. So any snooping, neighbor discovery snooping must be enabled at the global level and also on the desired VLAN level. Uh, any snooping feature prevents uh, neighbor discovery attacks. ND snooping does not just snoop, but also detects attacks by default. So when enabled, ND, snoop, ND snooping with RA guard, ingress router advertisements, RA, and router redirects are blocked and dropped on untrusted ports. So what does it all mean for the 8325 series if we configure the IPv6 RA guard feature? So let's have a look. So let's say we have a route advertised from switch A and it's going to switch B. This is fine, it's a legitimate source and we have a trusted port and the route is accepted on switch B, which is all very good. But we could have the same route advertised on switch C. Here we are. Now this could be a malicious attack or it could be a result of misconfiguration. This could result in switch C hijacking the route especially if it was advertised with a higher route priority. So that could be a problem. In any case, if we configure IBV6 RA guard on, on that and configure it as an untrusted port, we don't need to concern ourselves because it will drop that RA route advertisement packet and any route redirects. So this is the feature that we can leverage now on the 8325 series. So a couple of configuration notes. We need to configure ND snooping globally and enable it. That's part of the first thing we need to do. And then under the appropriate VLAN that we want to configure RA guard, we have to issue the ND snooping RA guard and the optional log command to enable the feature. And then we then apply it to our interface. Now we either trust the interface or we don't. So here we've got the trusted interface. So here are some useful commands. Remember, this is an additional feature add to the 8325 series only, effectively supporting RA drop on untrusted ports. And the feature is already present in other platforms. By default, ports are defined as untrusted and have to be configured manually manually to be trusted. Now it does not have extended commands on the A325 platform relating to ND guard or the ability to support an ACL for an RA guard policy and some of the other extended commands that we have on the 6300 series, for example. And that concludes this session of the usability enhancements for 10.09, part of a series of four, and this was number three in that series. Thanks for watching.